decided to show up, man. Let's move it! Yeah! Hey, what is up, Sonic fans? This is Radioactive Fra SNG, and welcome back to the Weekly Hack Showcase. This week, we're gonna be playing Sonic 1 Back to the Future. Now, if I remember correctly, I felt like we've done a hack already with the same name. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I felt like we've done something like this, and, uh... Yeah, so why don't we jump right into it. Now, this game is called Back to the Future for a reason. Someone recommended me this, and I had to see how it looked and stuff. So, oh, is that supposed to happen? Like, when you press up, Sonic just like, okay, oh, okay. Um, but something very special happens when I get to find the uh, actual, there it is, okay. So, um, as you can see right here, we have a P and a F. Now, if it's not already obvious, that this is the past and this is the future. So, I'm going to be showing off both of these. And, yeah, why don't we start with the past? Here we go. Yeah, so look at this. Holy crap, this is awesome to me. So, um, yeah, it's pretty much the Game Gear version now. I find it interesting that they made the enemies, like, really small. And, like, some of them are actually still full size. Really interesting to me. Yeah, but I love, like, this little remix and stuff. This is actually pretty awesome. Look at that, look how the how the uh, crabs just like, I guess their sprites jump when they move and stuff. It's just like the original, um, the original Game Gear Master System version, it's pretty awesome. Like I'm still that guy who wants a Master System 16-bit remake, like I know someone was working on it, but it was like so, it was like the frame rate was so bad, that's why I never showed it off. Uh, maybe one day I'll show it though. But from what I remember, it was really, like, buggy and stuff. It's, like, really slow for some reason. But, man, this is actually pretty awesome. I love, I like, I love, like, actually playing this on actual, like, um, like, full speed? I don't know what you call it. Like, actual Genesis hardware. To the point where if you played the Master System version and then you play this, it's, like, a completely different, um, engine. It actually feels way better than what, um, the Master System version plays like. Like, I like that game, but man, it does not play as good as this. Let's just say that. Alright, here we go. Man, where am I going? Is this stage ever in? Oh, oh, okay. Did I die? I did! Well, what the heck? What am I supposed to do? Can I beat this stage? Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try this one more time. Hopefully I don't die. I'm gonna meet y'all back at the end and make sure that... I'm gonna meet y'all back at the end, because this is a pretty decent length area. Alright, so it turns out that if you do pass that sign, you automatically die. So what I'm gonna do is just meet y'all back in normal Green Hill. Alright, so we're back in Green Hill Zone. So, um, yeah, we're gonna be looking at the other sign and seeing exactly what is here. So, when you hit the F, which is future, here we go. And if you don't know this remix already or this theme, yes! Look at that, man. Sonic Advance. Oh man, I love this theme. It's like a Genesis remix or something. I feel like they ripped this straight from like, like someone made this music from like um, one of those Genesis remakes of Advance music. Cause that's what it sounds like, like something someone actually made. So whoever made the music for this, like shout out to y'all, this sounds amazing. All right, but uh, yeah, as you can see, there's like some... Holy crap. Is this like the... I think it is. I think this is the... Um... This isn't the original layout for Green Hill. This is like the actual Act 1 of uh, Neo Green Hill. Like, at least it feels like it. Okay. Not really sure what I was running into there. Yeah, look at the graphics, man. This is awesome. It's like the colors are really weird, though. That's why I don't like those hacks that mess with the colors and stuff. Cause like, Sonic 1 only has like, what, what is it, 8 color palettes or something like that? And like, you can tell when someone changes the colors, everything changes colors. So, I don't like when hacks actually do that, it's kind of ugly. This is my opinion though. And you don't have a spin dash, which is kind of weird. I wish that they would have implemented that, but you know, it is Sonic 1, so it's understandable why they didn't. But it's just weird, like, playing this like advanced graphics and not having a spin dash it's really weird and okay we're done there we go man that's awesome and sonic is past act one so i don't know if there's anything past this act um yeah let's see i think after the first act everything just goes back to normal yeah so we are in act two 
As far as I know, it's only Act 1. So we're gonna go a little bit into this act and see if there's anything. Um, I'm pretty sure there isn't. It doesn't look like it. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and Sonic Central. Peace!